Hello, my name is Robbie and welcome to Bike Test Reviews. So in this video, we're gonna be speaking about the best front bike racks you can buy currently on the market and how to pick the right one for your bike. Front racks are an amazing cycling accessory for your bike. Whether you're bikepacking, long distance touring, or even just commuting, they give you the option to carry a lot of luggage and keep it in a really convenient place on your bike. In recent years, we're seeing loads of new ones hit the market, and also we're seeing them become very trendy in a lot of cycling disciplines. So in this video, we're gonna tell you about some of the best ones we've found on the market. So the first rack we're gonna speak about is the Axiom Lowrider Suspension Front Rack. And this is fantastic for so many reasons. Firstly, it's extremely lightweight, coming in at only around 500 grams. It looks really good, it works with all different kinds of brakes, and it's really easy to mount, just going through your quick release skewer and literally strapping to the sides of the forks themselves. Although fantastic, and coming in at a very cheap price, it does have one big disadvantage. It only works with panniers that clip onto the side of it. You don't have a flat top to put things on the top. But aside from that, we think it's a gorgeous looking rack. It's perfect if you want to go mountain biking or are using suspension forks. And genuinely, coming in at that price is ideal for anyone's budget. So the next rack coming straight in from the legends at Surly is the Surly Chromoly Front Rack 2.0. So in the latest edition of this rack, you are seeing strength and struts and the ability to carry a multiple different choice of bags. If you're planning a round the world trip and want to take everything with you, including the kitchen sink and to put it on the front of the bike, this is ideal with a weight capacity of 70 pounds you are gonna struggle to test this rack in any way, shape or form. It is fantastic and it's very strong, and looks incredible, but it does come with some drawbacks. Firstly, the price. It isn't cheap, but if you're buying one to use for life, this is the one to buy. Secondly, it's only going to mount with proper touring forks and it only has that attachment to do it and you won't get that weight capacity unless you're using it on touring forks and finally it is quite heavy itself coming in at nearly four pounds you definitely don't want this rack if you're planning on hill climb events aside from that it is fantastic it is the strongest thing on this list and we highly recommend it So then you have the Specialized Pizza Rack, and this is a very trendy rack right now and definitely takes the award for the coolest rack on this list. So not only does it look fantastic, it is very capable. So providing you have fork rack mounts on the front, this will literally just screw on. It looks fantastic, it takes panniers, and also has a really nice wide top to fit some really large boxes or pieces of luggage. It doesn't weigh too much coming in at roughly a pound and has a carrying capacity of 33 pounds in itself. There's very little drawbacks with this rack apart from the simple fact of you need mounts on your fork to mount it. But if you're looking for a really cool trendy rack to strap some bungee cords around and take pretty much anything, this is the rack for you. Then we have the Sunlight QR Tech front rack. And this is one of my favorites because it is so adaptable. Not only is it an excellent price, it works with all wheel sizes. And on top of that, it's really easy to mount just through the quick release skewer and bolted to the caliper hole at the front. Not only is this bike excellent for carrying up to 45 pounds of luggage, it's also got this nice little flip grip which is going to help hold everything nice and tightly in place. It's not the lightest of racks coming in around one pound but for the price and for its capabilities we think it's excellent and definitely deserves a space on the best bike front racks. 
Then from Toe Peak, you have the Tetrack M1. And this is an incredible rack if you have a mountain bike. So it is designed for suspension forks. And not only does it look fantastic, but it works perfectly. So what you get is four straps and it pulls to each side of your fork. There, it puts the rack nice and tight in place. This is something you're gonna be able to trust if you're coming down some real rocky mountains with luggage on the front. It is fantastic and we highly recommend it, but like with every rack, it does come with a couple of drawbacks. So this is only really gonna work with suspension forks. And on top of that, it isn't cheap coming in around $130. It does weigh two pounds, but if you're looking for something that's gonna be super reliable, that's gonna look really cool and just gonna be amazing on your mountain bike and on those off-road adventures, this is the rack that you need. So then we have our final rack from Amazon and this is fantastic for so many reasons. Not only is it an excellent price coming in at less than $40, it is super adaptable. It could work on pretty much any bike on the market. Alongside that, it's got a great carrying capacity of up to about 33 pounds, and it has plenty of spaces to hang loads of different goods off, such as panniers, normal bags, and you could literally strap anything you needed to this rack. We really like it. It doesn't come without its drawbacks though. It comes in at over two pounds, so it's fairly heavy. And in our opinion, it probably isn't the nicest looking rack compared to the other ones on this list. But we do think it's incredible value for money and highly recommend it if you're looking for a rack that's gonna be used on multiple bikes you might have. So what do you need to look for when buying a front rack for your bike? So in this next section, we want to say the questions that you should be asking yourself before hitting that bike now button. So the first thing is, will it fit your bike? So bikes come in all different shapes and sizes and so do racks. So before you buy a rack, you wanna make sure that it's gonna fit your bike. And to do that, you need to go outside, look at the kind of forks you've got, whether they be suspension forks or touring forks or road racing forks, and make sure the rack you're buying is going to fit your bike to save yourself ripping it to pieces when it gets there, attempting at fitting it, and then having to send it back later. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to think about is bags and adaptability. So not all bags fit all racks. So what you wanna do is make sure that the rack you're buying does fit the bags you plan to use or already have. So if you're using panniers, make sure the rack can take panniers. If you're using a nice flat top bag, make sure it has the space to keep it on securely. Finally, you're going to want to think about costs. So a very common mistake a lot of people make when buying a front rack is they just account for the cost of the rack and think the bags are going to be quite cheap. When actually, depending on the rack you get, the bags can be fairly expensive. Although most front racks are completely universal and all the ones we've put onto this list are completely universal, there are some companies that do sell a cheap rack so they can entice you into buying expensive bags. So just make sure the rack you're using does fit the bags you want and everything together fits inside your budget. Thank you very much for listening today and we will catch up soon and enjoy your front rack if you decide to purchase one that we recommend.